Hello, my friends, and welcome back to my channel. It is Friday, and you know what that means, menu plan day, and actually a grocery haul this week. I did my monthly grocery shopping, um, three different stores. I did Azure Standard, that is the co-op that we buy from. I'll tell you a little bit about that um, after I go through the menu. I did my very first ever Instacart order from Aldi. Um, it was just a rough week. I had no time to shop, none. <laughs> we had some fun things that we did, like we went down to the shore and just some other things. And honestly, grocery shopping kind of took the back burner. So I said, you know what? Let me try it. I loved it. Ah, uh, yes, I'm lazy. I don't know, but it was wonderful. I did it at my convenience, putting everything in my cart. I was able to really think about what I needed and it was brought right to my house. My shopper was excellent. You know, she texted me while she was shopping. I definitely think that I will do it again. Um, it was good, it was really good. Uh, where else? Oh, and then a little ShopRite haul. And oh, and my butcher box. So I will show you all of that after we go through the menu. And like I said, I just wanna to talk to you a little bit about Azure Standard. I've had a lot of questions about that recently. So I figured I would just fill you in on that. But let's get to the menu. So for breakfast this week on Sunday, we're going to have Eggs Benedict. Monday and Tuesday, both days, I think we're gonna have oatmeal of some sort. Trying to keep these days a little bit low in point. So for me on purple, oatmeal is a really good choice for that. If you're on blue, eggs, of course, would be a good choice for that. Um, you kind of have to do what works with your plan. On Wednesday and Thursday, we're gonna have egg bites. Um, I'm gonna make those, I think, Tuesday night and then just reheat them. Wednesday is my first sort of kind of official day back to work after summer. Um, I work Wednesday and Thursday next week and then, or maybe Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. And then not, I don't start again until after Labor Day, but just trying to keep things easy on me. Friday, French toast in a mug. And Saturday, omelets or eggs and bacon. For lunch, you know, we normally don't do lunch on Sundays because we have a later breakfast, a bigger breakfast. Monday is beach day, we're going down the shore. So I will pack a picky plate probably, um, shrimp, cheese, vegetables, fruit, or I might pack a salad. Not sure yet, depends on what strikes me that day. Tuesday, just gonna have a fruit salad for lunch. Wednesday, a tomato sandwich. Thursday, a tuna sandwich. Friday, I'm gonna make some egg rolls. And Saturday, we're gonna clean out the fridge and eat whatever's left over. For dinners next week, on Sunday, we're gonna have ham and cabbage with, with mashed potatoes and a vegetable, more than likely green beans from the garden. Monday, we are going to get pizza while we are down the shore. Doug's been wanting pizza all summer and we just haven't done it. So we're going to do pizza down the shore I will have one piece for about nine points. Tuesday, we are going out to dinner. Um, I have a gift certificate from one of my little babies and we're going to use that on Tuesday. Looking forward to that. Wednesday, it's a new recipe. I don't have the points yet. I need to work on it. It's called chicken, well, I'm calling it chicken supreme. It's chicken in a sauce over rice. It looks really good. Um, so I will figure out the points on that when I get it up on the website. Tuesday, shrimp scampi served over pasta with a salad on the side. Friday, garden bake. It is like a Bisquick quiche type dinner. It has tomatoes and zucchini and cheese. It's really good. I'm going to serve that with a side of roasted or grilled, not sure yet, eggplant and some corn on the cob. And then Saturday is pinochle at our house. I'm going to make chicken Italiano sandwiches along with a side of spaghetti salad and deviled eggs. This week for exercise, 
once again depends on how I'm feeling, how my hip and legs are feeling, and it will either be running or hit training. So that is the menu for the week. I think it looks pretty good. Excited for those dinners. And as always, you can print out a blank copy of this menu planner right from my website, jonespointatplate.com. Just click on free printables. So just real quick before I show you the grocery haul, I just wanted to tell you a little bit about Azure Standard because I've been getting some questions about it. What it is, it is a co-op and it is based in Oregon. It is all family owned and their mission is organic, natural, good for you foods in bulk if you choose and at a fantastic price. Um, what happens is you place your, you go online to their website and you look for a drop location in your area. I'm lucky, I happen to have a drop location that is 10 minutes from my house. Um, we have a couple people at our drop location who drive like 45 minutes to get there, but it's only once a month and for the value in the food, you know, they said it's definitely worth it. So you just go online, you sign up for a drop there is no fees, there's no membership fee, nothing like that. You sign up for your drop and then you can start shopping and they've got thousands of items. I mean, everything you can possibly imagine from dry goods to refrigerated to frozen. Add everything to your cart and check out and it, it'll tell you before you do all that when the drop is at your location and when the last day for your order is and you can add stuff, take stuff out, things like that, you know, up until the, the cutoff date. And then you check out. Now there is a shipping fee and that shipping fee is based on the weight of your items. So you're not paying for anybody else's, it's the weight of your items. Like last month, my the weight of my items I think was 45 pounds and my shipping was $7. Can't beat that. You know, another woman who orders a lot every month, like her totals are about $2,000 and she, I think her weight this month was just under 200 pounds and her shipping was like $100. Um, she had a lot of, you know, heavy stuff. So it really, it's, it's really interesting how it all works. Um, when, you, when you get to your drop time, you go, the tractor trailer pulls in and everybody helps unload the truck. You put it in everybody's pile and that's it. Then you load your car and you're on your way. So it's really, really cool. It's a really neat sense of community. But like I said, the food is fantastic. Um, they do have mostly organic options, but they do have some non-organic options and just really great prices. Like I get my vanilla from there now because, you know, I like to make my own vanilla, but it takes a while to ferment, not ferment. That's not the word. It takes a while to sit. Um, and you know, vanilla is really crazy expensive. I get really good vanilla. I get a 16 ounce bottle, 16 ounce. I think, yeah, for like $14. It's crazy. Um, I get 10 pounds of oatmeal for like $7. Um, I'm trying to think what else. The cereal that I like, the Kamut Puffs, they're like three or four bucks in the grocery store. They're $1.92. So really a good, we're really finding that we really, really like it. Um, I think our favorite thing is the raw milk cheddar cheese. It is so delicious. I buy a five pound block and I either slice it off or shred it off depending on what I need to do with it. Um, now that the boys are back at school, I think this block that I have now, I'm going to cut into one pound pieces and use my food saver and vacuum seal the one pound pieces um, just to keep it nice and fresh. When the boys were here, we flew through the cheese. But anyway, I just wanted to tell you a little bit about Azure Standard. I'll have a link in the description box below right to their website. Um, if you have any questions about it at all or think it's something you're interested in, let me know and I can try to answer your questions. Like I said, I'm relatively new at this. I think I've only done it four or five months, but I'm really trying to transition into doing most of my shopping there. So we'll see. Enough about that. Let's get on to the grocery haul. 
Okay, starting off with the Azure Standard order, I got a 33 ounce bag of white quinoa. Oh, excuse me. Um, I wanted to give this a try, see if we like it. I got two five pound bags because they were out of the 10 pound bag of the organic rolled oats. I got three 20 ounce organic ketchups. I got one 16 ounce organic vanilla extract. I did not mean to buy the organic. I meant to buy the regular, but I messed up. I got a big bottle of apple cider vinegar. I got only one of these is mine. Another five pound block of the raw milk cheddar. One is for my sister-in-law, one is for me. We still have probably a good two pounds left in the other block, but I didn't want to run out. I wasn't sure how quickly we'd go through it, so I picked up another block. It's sealed, so it'll stay completely fresh and, you know, for a long time. So grab that. And then I bought a five pound tub of baking powder. I go through baking powder like nobody's business. So I decided to get this because I also wanted to get the aluminum free. So we're going to give that a try. I read fantastic things about this Sierra Nevada farmhouse cream cheese and Doug loves cream cheese on his bagel. So I decided to pick one of those up and give it a try. I picked up two bags of frozen, frozen um, hash brown cubes just to keep in the refrigerator. I like just making hash browns from my potatoes, but you know, sometimes you run out and sometimes you just don't have time. So I thought I'd keep these in the freezer in case I needed them. And then got three bags of the Kamut Puffs. I love these. I love the taste. I love how light they are. They're one point for one cup and they were a fantastic price. They're pretty pricey in the store. I got three bags for less than $6 through Azure. And then as always, our favorite, new favorite, tortilla chips, the late July sea salt thin and crispy tortilla chips. So that was it for my Azure standard order this month. Each month I'm trying to order like one thing in bulk to really try to kind of just start bulking up on some dry goods and keep things in stock down in the pantry. Okay, here is the Aldi order. This was my first time ever using Instant Cart and Instacart and it was really great. There was one little hiccup, but I really liked it. So here it is. I have a watermelon, pineapple, strawberries, blueberries, bananas, three things of mushrooms, three apples, two avocados, some romaine hearts, lemons, and limes, and that is all of my produce. And then for dairy, I have some of the ultra pasteurized organic milk. I'm going to attempt to make yogurt with this. I'm not sure if it's gonna work or not. Um, we're gonna give it a try. Then I've got some fat-free half and half, some heavy whipping cream, and this was the little hiccup. I ordered the pure all natural creamer, and she texted me and said they were in, in the hazelnut flavor. She said they were out of it. Would French vanilla be okay? And I said yes, but this isn't the pure all natural. This is almond milk creamer, and it's got a bunch of crap in it that we don't want. So that was really the only hiccup. We'll see. I may return it. Um, and then for dairy also, I got four pounds of butter for m meat. The only meat I got is two things of shrimp because I just got my butcher box. And for frozen, I got four things of broccoli. I need these for some recipes coming up. General groceries. I got some unsweetened applesauce cups, some diced tomatoes some kidney beans. That's all for some chili coming up at the end of the month. 
then some cream corn for some corn muffins coming up with the chili i got some sugar some peanut butter sauerkraut dijon mustard two boxes of spaghetti a package of provolone cheese for a recipe coming up some brioche buns oh, i'm still working on mine i will get there eventually but in the meantime these are pretty darn good these are for um sandwiches coming up for pinochle one night next week or two weeks two bags of pretzels to satisfy doug's obsession with them two things of beef broth um you know i make my own chicken bone broth and vegetable broth i haven't done beef yet because i never have beef bones or meat or anything so i don't know i gotta figure that one out and then just two boxes of tissues so that is my first instant cart aldi order i must say i am pretty pleased with it and i will probably do it again Okay, the next part of the grocery haul is from Butcher Box. Our Butcher Box arrived this week. And in this month's box, I chose to get three three pound packages of chicken breasts. I added on some apple gouda sausage that was a special and I wanted to give that a try. I also added on a pound of beef tenderloin tips. We had these once before and they were phenomenal. I made them with a mushroom sauce. It was delicious. So can't wait to do that again. And then I have some baby back ribs. It's a whole rack there. And then I have four pounds of ground sirloin, two pounds of ground beef, and a package of bacon. The bacon and the ground beef we have for life in our boxes. Um, this was a special when we started Butcher Box that we would get ground beef for life. This was an add-on one time for $25 one-time fee. You got bacon every month, so we did that. So that is our Butcher Box for the month. It all comes frozen well in a well-insulated box. We absolutely love it. It is delicious meat. It is all grass-fed, grass-finished, organic, heritage, it is really, really wonderful. Okay, and last but not least is a little ShopRite trip. I went in for sour cream, cottage cheese, crushed pineapple, red peppers, and roasted red peppers, and some um, whole grain noodles, but they had some other stuff on sale really good so i picked it up oh and i needed the uh, cohita cheese i found whole grain elbows which are hard to find around me the only place that usually has them is sprouts so i grabbed those grabbed some whole grain penne this was on clearance the lasagna noodles for 79 cents so i picked up four of those the whole grain uh, medium egg noodles a can of asparagus yeah I know, canned asparagus is yucky, but I like it in my asparagus and egg sandwiches. It's, I, I don't know, it's just what I like. Um, some crushed pineapple, some roasted red peppers, and Daisy sour cream and Daisy cottage cheese. Daisy is the only brand I'll eat. So I have to go to ShopRite to get that. So there you have it, my little ShopRite haul. It was $32. Well, my friends, that is it. That was my menu for this coming week and also my grocery haul for the month. As always, we will probably fill in with some um, produce and I'm also going to probably need to go get milk. I'm running low and we didn't go. I like to get my milk at either BJ's or Costco just because it's a really good price and it's really hard to find 1% organic milk. Aldi has skim and 2% and I think Costco even stopped carrying the 1%. I can get it right at my shop right but it's a lot more expensive so BJ's has been my go-to so I will probably run in BJ's just for probably six half gallons of milk 
at some point when I'm over in that area. But hopefully this grocery haul will get me through the month and I won't have to do any big shopping. Like I said, just fill in with a little bit of fruit here and there. So thanks again for watching and don't forget to check out the menu and all the recipes over at my website, jonespointatplate.com. I will have the website updated by Saturday afternoon. And that's that. So thanks again for watching and I will see you over the weekend in my weekend vlog.